Hey guys, at the USTE, I drove for the first time ever an RC four wheel drive TF2, Trailfinder 2. It was a Marlin crawler and I, uh, I won one. So now that I have one, I'm gonna, I've, I've never had a, a RC four wheel drive truck. So, but looking at this thing, it's pretty neat. I'm gonna open it up, show you guys what's inside. My game plan to this, Sorry guys, I'm not going to water skip this. I'm going to do what I can to actually scale this thing out and make it real scale. I'm talking like steering wheel is going to turn. The head should move back and forth on the, the driver of it. So that's my goal is to really scale this truck out. Because at the USTE, I saw some trucks that were scaled out that were just immaculate. And hopefully you guys watched my video showing some of the vendors and different things. So if you haven't, checked that out. Um, anyway, I'm gonna open this up, show you guys what's inside. I'm not a professional at what is in one of these trucks, but I'm gonna show you what catches my eye. And it's officially licensed by Marlin Crawler. Um, Trail, Trail Finder 2, Marlin Crawler Edition. Let's take a look at the box and see if some features on this thing that I might not know about. All right, check this out. All these wonderful points of what makes this truck special. And we have some scale axles, uh, front mounted motor transmission, nice chassis. Let's take a look at all this stuff. Sorry for the shadows, my lighting is kind of bad tonight. Definitely got some good stuff in here. Looks like some suggested uh, upgrades. I don't know why I would want those when this thing comes with IROX. Marlin Crawler rear steel tube bumper for Trail Finder 2. That's probably going to happen. Um, I don't think I'm going to put a four link on it. Those winches are pretty awesome. That may happen. A nice scale accessory, scale sliders. Those will probably happen. So, drive shafts. All right, let's open it. All right, so there it is in all of its glory. I know the scale guys, they like to look at packaging, so I figured I'd show you that and how the plastic lets the diff sit so it's not touching anything. The tires are set in. Look at all this wonderful details. Ooh, little chrome parts pieces. That's pretty nice. Let's see floppy mirrors so they don't break when you're water skipping this thing and you know rock bouncing it with a 6s battery and stuff comes with a really nice bumper that's actually real metal got winch mounts so this one will get a scale winch unlike all my other scalers that have servo winches that are you know walking speed fast this one will not have that so there's all the stickers it's got these little chrome things that go somewhere. Oh, mirror stickers. All right, that's what that is. It's got this thing in case you want to take the bed off of it. You can put this on there. So I'm not taking the bed off. I'm going to leave it on. And then it has a book, which is got everything in it. So, and this is what's under it. Pretty neat. Oh uh, yeah, it was driven during the rally at the R at the uh, USTE. You can see the servo right there, the leaf springs, which I'm gonna leave them on here. Now the drive shafts, if you look at them closely, actual steel ends. Even this part right here has got a plastic over steel. So yeah, and they're plenty beefy. So I don't see any issues with these drive shafts. Got a heck of a shaft between the transmission and the transfer case. Nice drop down mount right there. Looks like Delrin, what it looks like. Uh, tires are nice. I mean, legit IROX. Nice scale shocks. All right, let's go ahead and get the body off of this thing. So to get the body off of this thing, there are two screws down here and two body clips in the back that have to come off. They use a two millimeter wrench. So 
so really like these tires and wheels nice and shiny because I do like chrome you know that sign you know that that saying they say where chrome don't get you home well it works for me Wow take a look in here see if I can show you guys the dash layout light buckets this thing is gonna get a full set of lights uh, let me see. I'm going to do something there and see if I can get a micro servo in there to turn that and just bridge it off the steering servo. Nice body. I mean, never had a hard body scale before. So let's see what we got here. We have a 5200 milliamp lipo. Sorry, that took two hands, but 5200 milliamp 2S LiPo from Helios. They were a sponsor and a vendor at the USTE. I run their uh, 3500 milliamp 3S batteries, so they do make some great batteries, guys, so check them out. Call, and I'm sure you've seen my Holmes Hobby sticker back there. He was also at the USTE, so pretty good. Um, 45 turn motor that'll probably come out for a little bit more modern brushed motor little scale transmission the drive shaft the transfer case already got to clean it oh my god that course was dirty yeah i don't really care but i will i will clean it up pretty nice truck never had a that is a bit stiff maybe when i add all the scale stuff on it it'll actually you know soften up a little bit tires feel almost like they've got a two stage in them a little bit tires feel good all your bumper mounting options right there very simple truck i believe it's got the uh outcry esc i believe that's what they say yeah, i can see something back here waterproof at least i can tell you that Outcry 2, I believe, is what's on the box. Yeah, let me take a look. Yep, I took a look. It is an Outcry 2 ESC. Here's your wiring all the way down. So this is a pretty neat truck. I'm gonna take one of these tires off. Take one of these tires and wheels and see what's all see what all that's about. See if them things are metal or plastic or what. Let's dig into them things. Okay, so according to my magnet, these are stamped steel wheels. I believe it says it somewhere in the books because I kind of heard it mentioned while I was out there driving it. So nice, shiny. Look at that chrome. Man, I love some chrome. Then you got beadlock rings, which appear to be aluminum, stamped steel. And then this right here, the hex, which appears to be aluminum as well. So very nice wheel and tire package these will absolutely stay on here so yep helios haha <laughs> so we also have the radio it's pretty basic i mean it gets the job done with the truck and everything so oh one point i want to point out this truck actually has nice turn so i believe that's something to do with the these new axles they just built for it i believe they're a new model or something like that and it's got the steering link behind the axle, which is actually pretty nice. If you can see that right there. Just noticed that. I'll probably notice a lot of little things about this truck as I go through it and try to scale it out. So you guys let me know in, in the comments if you want to see me do like a little series on this. When I get an interior, when I mount the winch, if I change the motor or ESC or... You know scale accessories and different things let me know in in the comments how far you would like to see this truck go and um, maybe by this time next year at the next USTE I can take this truck out fully decked out and actually look like it belongs there so let me know in the comments guys thanks